Thank you. Meantime, on the campaign trail, former President Trump unleashed a barrage of new attacks on his new challenger, while Kamala Harris is working to shore up support from black voters. At a historically black sorority in Indianapolis, Harris said America faces a choice between two different visions for the future, one that focuses on the past and her focus on the fight for the future. Some polls show her campaign is already gaining momentum. Carlos Saucedo is live in the KTLA News Center with the latest on the race for the White House. Carlos. Michael. Share good evening. Both candidates hit the campaign trail today, going after one another. Tonight, Trump held his first rally since Harris joined the race, telling his supporters that he was not going to be nice, a pledge he made after the assassination attempt on his own life. With the stakes high in the race for the White House, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are rallying their base. And with your support, I am fighting for our nation's future. Harris was in Indianapolis Wednesday giving the keynote address to Zeta Phi Beta, a historically black sorority. Harris taking the opportunity to try and galvanize black and female voters. The freedom to learn and acknowledge our true and full history and the freedom of a woman to make decisions about her own body and not have her government telling her what to do. And when we vote, we make history. So let us continue to fight. So now we have a new victim to defeat, Lion Kamala Harris, Lion, L-Y-I-N. Trump speaking to thousands of energetic supporters in Charlotte, North Carolina, his first rally since Harris became the presumptive Democratic nominee, Trump turning his focus on her. Kamala, you're fired. Get out of here. You're fired. Trump blaming Harris for what he's labeling the failures of the Biden administration. But his own running mate has recently come under fire over this Fox News clip from 2021, where J.D. Vance criticizes leaders like Harris who do not have their own children but are running the country. We're effectively run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs, by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable at their own lives and the choices that they've made, and so they want to make the rest of the country miserable too. The ladies on ABC's The View sounding off. How dare you denigrate them and say that they are not as valuable, they don't have as much of a stake in this society. In the meantime, we're told the Harris campaign is narrowing its search for a running mate. Sources are saying the team is less than two weeks away from naming their VP pick. Reporting in the KTLA News Center, Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News.